Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a very easy method of factorizing quadratic expressions or quadratics. Now, let's see. We have a quadratic x squared plus 5x plus 6. And we need to convert it into a product of two linear expressions. That is, two brackets. Now, let's look at our coefficients. We have 1, which is in front of x squared. We have 5 and we have 6. We need to find two numbers that add to 5 and multiply to 6. So add to 5 and multiply to 6. So these numbers are 2 and 3. So 2 and 3. This is because 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So the answer is x plus 2 and x plus 3. Let's look at another example. x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals, once again, you need to split it into two brackets or two factors. Now, we need two numbers that add, add to 2 and multiply to minus 8. Multiply to minus 8. So what are these numbers? Well, we can begin by listing all the possible combinations that multiply to 8. So that's 1 and 8, 2 and 4, and that's, well, that's it. So 1 plus or minus or whichever combination of plus and minus we do, we don't get 2. But if we take uh, minus 2 and 4, we have a sum of 2, they add to 2, and they multiply to negative 8, because minus 2 times 4 is negative 8, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So the answer is x minus 2 and x plus 4. It's as easy as that. So we find two numbers that add to 2, multiply to 8, and we get minus 2 and 4. Another example, x squared plus 16x plus 28 equals. Now, we need two numbers that add to 16, add to 16, and multiply to 28. So they multiply to 28. So the numbers are, so what, what gives us 28 when multiplied? Well, 1 and 28, 2 and 14, what else? Um, uh, 7 and 4. And I guess that's it. That's all the possible combinations. Well, so it, do any of them add to 16? Oh, yes. 2 and 14 add to 16. So the answer is x plus 2, x plus 14. That's it. In this example, we have x squared minus 7x plus 12. So two numbers that add to negative 7 and multiply multiply to 12. I'm not going to list all the possible combinations, but we can quite easily guess that the numbers are minus 3 and minus 4, because minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7, and minus 3 times minus 4 is 12. So it factorizes to x minus 3 and x minus 4. That's it. Let's look at some harder examples. 2x squared minus x minus 3. In this case, we can see that the first coefficient is not 1. It's not just x squared. It's 2x squared. So what do we do here? We, we work similarly, but a little bit differently. Now, we need two numbers that multiply to 2 times negative 3. So two numbers that multiply to multiply to negative 6. And we need two numbers that add to minus 1, because the coefficient here is negative 1. They add to negative 1. Now, what are the numbers? They multiply to negative 6, add to negative 1. That's going to be, 
Oh, let's list the combinations. 1 and 6 multiply to uh, 6, uh, 2 and 3. S so one of them has to be negative because it's a negative product. So it's going to be minus 3 and 2. We make a table, and in this table, we write the first term, but without the square, so just 2x, 2x. And here, on the bottom, we write the two numbers that we have. So it's 2 and negative 3. Now, if you look at the first column, 2 cancels out. So it's 1 and 1. And then we just write the answer. So it's 1x plus 1, so it's just simply x plus 1, and 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. Let's say we need to factorize 4x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals. So, we do the same way. We find two numbers that multiply to 12, because 4 times 3 is 12. So they multiply to 12, and they add to negative 7, because this is the second coefficient. So what are the numbers? So it's minus 3 and minus 4. So, go 4x, 4x. So... Minus 3 and minus 4. So minus 3 and minus 4. So 4 cancels out. So it's 1 and negative 1. And we write down the answer. 4x minus 3 is equal to x minus 1. This is how you factorize harder examples when there's not 1 in front of x squared, but a number, some number except one. Now, I have to say, and as I mentioned earlier, this method doesn't always work. But when it does work, it provides a really quick and easy way to factorize quadratics. Now I'm going to show you how you can use factorization in everyday lives. Oh no, sorry, in everyday maths. Yeah, that's, that's better. So, we have an equation, x squared minus 5x plus 6. You can solve it by factorization. Now, you want to factor the left-hand side of the equation. So, let's use our method. We find two numbers that add to negative 5 and multiply to 6. The numbers are, so add to negative 5 and multiply to 6, so the numbers are negative 2 and negative 3. So x minus 2, x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, the product of two brackets is 0. That means, basically means, something times something is 0. That means one of the brackets have, has to equal to 0. Now, x minus 2 is 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0 because that's the only way this could equal to 0 and that means x is equal to 2 because we take 2 to the other side or x equals to 3 so these are the two possible solutions to the equation so we used factorization to solve a quadratic equation let's solve another equation 5x squared minus 54x minus 11 equals 0. So it has 5 here. It's not 1x squared, it's 5x squared. So we use the same method. Well, with the second part, the second part of the method. So we, we find two numbers that multiply to negative 55. And they add to negative 54. So these numbers are, so what, uh, what multiplies to 55? It's 1 and 55, 5 and 11. So in this case, it's going to be uh, minus 55 and plus 1. Because minus 55 plus 1 is minus 54, and minus 55 times 1 is negative 55. We make a table, so 5x, 
5x, uh, negative 55, 1. This cancels out, it becomes 1x, and this becomes minus 11. So, on the left-hand side of the equation, we write x minus 11 times 5x plus 1 equals 0. Now, product of two brackets is 0, so one of them has to be equal to 0. So, x minus 11 equals 0, or 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, x equals 11, or 5x equals negative 1, which makes x equal, so we divide by 5 minus 1 fifth. So these are the two solutions of this quadratic equation. So we can use factorization to solve quadratic equations. Thanks for your attention. See you soon. Bye.